thanks, Goose. All right, time to review Construction Simulator 2015. Well, wait a minute, Barjo. Darren's not here. We can't do the review without him. Beep, 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 beep. <clears throat> now, I'm afraid I can't let you two review this game without the appropriate safety equipment. Uh, you'll find your safety gear under your seats. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, Darren, yes. I don't think this really goes with my complexion. Safety first, Barjo. Now, prepare for construction. <laughs> All right, Darren, calm those dubstep circuits. I don't think that particular montage really captured the spirit of this game. Oh. Points for style, though. <laughs> Construction Simulator involves no dubstep, but has you taking on contracts and working through a list of mini objectives to complete a project. So you may have to excavate a hole in the ground and then deliver the specified materials to the construction site. Now, I think calling this game Construction Simulator is straight up misleading. After 10 hours of playing it, I didn't construct a single thing. It's, it's more like Construction Material Delivery Simulator. <laughs> yeah, affirmative. I calculated that at least 90% of your gameplay involved simply buying materials, loading them onto a truck, delivering them to the construction site, and then taking them off the truck. I know, right? And once all the materials are delivered, the construction happens automatically. You occasionally do something a bit more construction-y, such as pouring concrete or using a big crane to put walls into place. None of that is much fun, though, and because all the construction happens automatically, it's a bit of a cop-out. Yeah, especially since other games do construction really well, like, of course, Minecraft and Space Engineers. You know, when I heard we were reviewing this, I actually got really excited to flex my creative muscles and build some cool buildings, but sadly, there's none of that here. Well, it isn't called Architect Simulator, so perhaps we are being a bit unfair on that front. But even so, what you do get to do is so boring. Just sitting there, slowly moving things around, or slowly digging a hole. It's just so methodical and tedious and robotic. In fact, being a robot, Darren, I'm sure you'd probably actually quite like it. <laughs> well, I am quite accustomed to performing mindless, repetitive tasks. I like talking to you, Bajo. But even I found this game very dull. The game is also part business management sim as you work towards building up your construction company. As you progress, you can buy bigger and better vehicles and equipment to take on more complicated and profitable jobs. Eventually, you can also hire workers and additional foremen who you can assign to do the jobs for you. It makes for an extremely basic business management game, however, with very little depth. To be honest, I did have more fun once I had a couple of workers to just do everything for me. It meant that I could go read a book and have a cup of tea while they made me money. Okay, I'll just assign you to do that job, Mr. Construction Man. Okay. Mm. Mm. So basically, you enjoyed the game the most when you weren't playing it. Mm. Pretty much, yeah. Well, we did have some fun in the multiplayer mode. Mm. There's a pretty big open world you can mess about in with up to four players. And with all the various heavy machinery to play with, we had a few lols. <laughs> Get out of my way, Bajo! <laughs> uh -oh. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, oh you ruined it! <laughs> Daz the Builder. Oh, watch out! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. Oh. I'm just trying to do my job. You're, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> doing it wrong. Doing it wrong. Budge, you should be fired from construction. You really do have to make your own fun, though, since actually playing the game properly is still pretty boring, even with friends. We should wrap this up, though. Bajo, what are you giving it? Well, I didn't really have much fun here. I think this is worth one out of five stars. Yeah, I'm giving it one out of five as well. All right, you two, it's time to answer the spawning's questions at the answer spawn point desk. OK, let's go. Oh, leave behind your safety gear. Oh, okay. Okay. Fold it. Fold it neatly, Bajo. <laughs> neatly. Close enough.